Okay, we continue deformer menu and bridge to interesting deformer called a spline. You can use a spline to deform any objects. We start from the plane, going to the graph shading line, increase its uh, segments. We're going to deform them. <clears throat> Give it a dark material to see the spline on it better. And I want to deform this plane with a spline. So I have to hold shift and click on a spline to make a child of a spline. In this way, a spline define that plane to deform that. When you go into the settings of the deformer, we have two important things to define the splines. We need original spline and we need modifying spline. Original spline, you have to draw an original exactly on a surface of and the position of that you want to uh, deform. I draw them and then after uh, uh, assigning the deformer, I explain them. So the first way is going to top menu, going to the spline and click and click to draw a line. The direction of it, it's, uh, it's not important, just draw a straight line. Or you can change, uh, for example, zigzag line. I explain. Don't worry, just the first way you uh, draw a spline dot that uh, path through the object. For example, going to the move tool, uh, don't be uh, in an object. Draw a spline also to the object that you want to spline. And uh, above that, I want to, in a, this view, uh, <clears throat> draw a spline that I want to, uh, for example, modify that. Bring the polygons between the original spline and the modifying spline and polygon this direction. Okay, the important things and other things about the modifying. Oh, select all of them. Okay, modifying is uh, try to align them exactly above them like this. It's not important exactly. I show you. Just try to align them. Do not crossing each other like this. An important important thing is there have to be in the same order. As you can see, the beginning and the ending of the spline must be in the same direction. As you can see, the blue and the white. The direction is very important. And now it's er everything is ready. Uh, call it origin and call it modifying. Select. Give, click and drag the spline to the origin and click and drag the modify that. As you can see, this is a spline deformer. It's act like this. <clears throat> As you can see, if you change the origin, it will act like this. Or I say if it have to be on a surface of the object. As you can see, if you bring it down or bring it up, we don't reach the modifying object. So the important is exactly the surface of the object. And this is modifying. You can simply go and change the uh, points and modify the objects. And uh, as I said before, for example, if the spline is uh, uh, be in an object, it's act like, like this. So. Uh, draw modifying and the uh, origin spline uh, out of the object. Okay, bring uh, the head and beginning and start out of the object. A little about uh, going out the object and going to its settings. The BS line approximation use length and full polygons. I don't want to explain very mathematical behind them, but there are something mathematical operation between points intersection, uh, point intermediate point of the this spline and that spline and the polygon between them. 
if you uh, in a complex model, if you have um, see the art, um, see the problems, see the issues, uh, change the number of the B spline. If your uh, spline is, as you can see, this is busier, you can change it to the B spline. You can change the number of that. For example, here, if you have a problem, change this number. I'm bringing them to or activate or deactivate it's lose use lengths as you can see uh, use the lengths of the polygon instead of the uh, use lengths of the supply instead of the polygon as you can see go away from that like this if you want you can make it. and uh, you can change the modifying position you can rotate it as you can see it's effect like this because of that i say you please align them and another interesting setting is radius you can increase or decrease the radius of that and interesting part is you can ch change this shape with this spline right click i explain graph editor in a previous lesson you can refer to them i want to uh, start it with a <coughs> this shape you can click this point as you can see exactly in this spline you can define your object holding control to deform the object you can use it to the spline and you can do anything here interesting okay you can define any shape that you want like this you can delete them very interesting okay you can draw any shape here I explain uh, graph editor like this and that's it okay we just need one origin and one modifying object for example if you want to draw a a spline on a for example landscape like this as i said before you have to project for example a spline going to the point mode of a spline that you draw right click and project it on a spline it's better to be exactly on a surface you saw there here if you change the level of the origin original spline everything will be changed hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release